Hi, my name is Calvin, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between land turtles, like this box turtle, and sea turtles, like this green sea turtle. And the first thing that you notice when you look at these two guys close together, you notice the shape of the shell. So if you look at the box turtle, he's a lot more round than the sea turtle. Sea turtle is more flat. And why do you think that? Sea turtles are in the ocean. And in order to live in the ocean, you've got to be able to swim kind of fast, right? So sea turtles have adapted, which means that they have done something to their bodies or behavior to allow them to survive better. And they have made their shells a little bit more flatter so that it's more hydrodynamic. And when I say hydrodynamic, that means, you ever heard of aerodynamic? An airplane is aerodynamic, so it can fly through the, through the air without falling down and it goes through the air really good. Hydrodynamic means it can go through the water really good, and that is why sea turtles have more flattened shells, because they need to be hydrodynamic. Another big difference that you can tell between a land turtle and a sea turtle is the land turtle has a lot more square of a shell. It has a lot more room in it, too. If I look, and this shell is a little bit bigger, but if I look at this shell, there's not a whole lot of room inside of this green sea turtle shell compared to the land turtle, this box turtle, which looks like actually a box. And why do you think that is? Well, the land turtle actually can go all the way inside of its shell. Have you ever seen a real land turtle in real life, and you scare it, it'll go all the way in its shell, and you try to knock on it and say, hello? Are you there? He won't come out because he's scared. Well, animals like dogs and wolves and things like that, they might try to eat a land turtle. And dogs and wolves and stuff, they have strong jaws, but usually they can't bite through a turtle. And plus it looks like a rock, so they're not going to really try to eat it if it hurts their teeth. So that's why they can go inside of their shell. But think about a sea turtle. Think about, hmm, if a sea turtle went inside of a shell, which they can't, Sea turtles cannot go in their shells. If a sea turtle went in its shell, would that be good for it? You gotta think about what it breathes. What does it breathe? All sea turtles breathe air, so they have to go to the surface of the ocean and breathe, and then they can go back underwater and hold their breath for a long time. Kind of like dolphins with their blowholes, except they don't have a blowhole. They just go up to the top and go, ah, air, and then they take a deep breath and they go back down and get food. Um, so, so sea turtles in general do not need to go in their shells because it wouldn't be good for them. If they went in their shells, they would just sink to the bottom. And then if they got too deep, they couldn't hold their breath long enough to come up to the top to breathe. So they don't need that room inside of it. And instead, they've decided not to go all the way in their shells so they can make their shell flatter and more hydrodynamic. Because most animals in the ocean, if they were, if sea turtles were to go in their shells, they could bite into a sea turtle shell. Even though they're pretty strong shells, the great white shark, maybe, or a tiger shark, could bite, bite right through this shell. So it doesn't really matter if it goes in the shell or not. So it's better if it goes faster. So those are two major differences between land turtles and sea turtles. Thanks for watching.